Hi there, this is uh, Srikant Dasari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to continue our studies on uh, conditional statements. So in the last lesson, we have uh, learned about uh, so how to uh, 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 write a small program using a simple if statement. Okay. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to look uh, how uh, simple uh, if else uh, logic works here. Okay. So if else uh, construct or uh, uh, this is a conditional statement so totally there will be three conditional uh, uh, statements in uh, uh, C programming language sorry in C++ or C or any other uh, programming language the so first one is a simple if the second one is simple uh, if else and third one is if else if uh, later here, okay so uh, in this lesson we are going to concentrate on uh, if, uh, if else uh, uh, statement if else logic here, okay so this is my uh, youtube channel uh, if you go to playlists uh, so this this is the where uh, we are uh, uh, constantly updating uh, uh, the programming uh, tutorials on various concepts in c++ programming language okay so feel free to subscribe to this channel and uh, put your views and valuable feedback in the form of comments in uh, youtube uh, videos here okay so let me launch the IDA. So we know that we are using a, a 2013 Express for Windows desktop here, okay? So already I have created a project under the name uh, if else. It consists of nothing but uh, if else dot cpp, right here, okay? So let me go to full screen. And let me add all the basic stuff like uh, handle files. So, okay, so I was, I was string, I was string, okay? So let me add uh, the using namespace std, okay? So using namespace std, now let me uh, write the main function here, the very essential main function. So without main, there is nothing, okay? So starting from now, uh, I'm using this uh, uh, method uh, known as uh, scene.get here, okay? So previously we used to use uh, get ch, uh, which is a deprecated way of uh, writing a code in the uh, standard C++ here, okay? So scene.get solves the same purpose uh, what uh, the get ch does for us, okay? So I have ran the program, so the output of the console window waits until uh, the any key is pressed from the user, okay? So we have just uh, uh, written the very basic code. So now uh, let's understand how the if else logic uh, works here, okay? So for that, let me take a variable here. So if I take a i, a simple variable, okay? So let me set some value to it. Uh, let me say that i is equal to zero. Okay. So i is equal to zero. So let, let me say something like this. So if uh, if i okay. So if i uh, let's say zero slash slash t, the i is set to the i is set here. Okay. So i is set in the sense that is i is true okay so this is true this is true the condition is true so whatever whatever uh, i is set i is set uh, the condition so all these messages are just for understanding purpose so they are not mandatory the condition is true okay so now uh, we are implementing our else condition for the first time uh, so if if it's not the case uh, or if the condition fails then automatically uh, the control jumps to this uh, else block here okay so now here here also can have some logic uh, so i'm just putting another uh, steward statement mm, i is not set okay so i is uh, not set so have all this message yes the condition is false okay so you can say something like this and you can uh, terminate your message with a semicolon here, okay? So now if you run your uh, tiny little program, so if you see what happens here, run the help of fi key here, okay? The condition, the i is not set, the condition is false here, okay? So that the reason because uh, since we have studied in the last lesson, uh, if the condition express, the, uh, it's only evaluates to true if the i is, uh, if the expression or the value of i returns one here, okay? So since we have set the value of uh, i to 0, so here what happens is the condition is uh, the message uh, which is written in the else block here, okay? So the message is written, written in the else block uh, gets executed here, okay? So if you set this i to 1 here, okay? So if you change your logic a bit and if now if you uh, so come out of your uh, debugging mode and you just uh, run your program. So I have just made this i to 1 and now I am running the program. 
with the help of f5 so if you now if you see it, the i is set the condition is true here okay so here when the i is set to 1 uh, the, what happens here is the conditions the, whatever the logic you have uh, written inside the currency so here we haven't written any big logic so we have just used uh, the variable i so whether it's uh, set or not okay so to know that whether it's set or not uh, so ultimately the logic uh, sets to true and if condition this block gets executed and uh, the, the control never goes to this block here okay so this in this way uh, you can uh, make some decisions uh, in your program so whenever it is essential whenever, whenever it is essential okay so let's take another uh, example here so not just uh, let's take uh, two variables x and y uh, let's, let's say let's grab some values into it uh, let's say uh, slash slash t so enter some values so into x comma y okay so enter some values into x comma y uh, let's say okay so c in uh, x c in y okay so now again i'm taking the if uh, condition if else uh, uh, construct here okay so this time uh, to know the which value is bigger okay so let's print it out uh, before uh, okay c out uh, slash and slash t so x is equal to so let's say x and also y is equal to y is equal to y okay so i have just uh, put the values here so okay so here what i'm saying is so if uh, x is greater than y so this is a condition here so if you want can have a small message so you need to have so what happens the logic here okay slash and slash t x is bigger than uh, y okay so just to have a uh, message okay so if, if it's not the case the ultimately uh, you need not check the other uh, the other condition whether it's true or not okay so directly you can say in this uh, else block here so c out so slash and slash and slash t so y is bigger than x here okay so in this way uh, you can uh, make some uh, logic implement some logic inside your uh, program so conditions based on the conditions whether this you execute this block of code or whether if it's not then execute in the else block of code okay so let me run the program so until now what happens let's see so i think we are already in the debugging mode i'm just talking the debugging and i'm running the program here okay so as soon as you run the program uh, it asks you for to enter some values of x and y so let me say uh, 3 for x and 2 for y okay once again 3 and 3 so what's happening here is uh, so automatically the whatever the code we press it's uh, just taking it out okay so let's put another uh, scene dot get here also so it's just uh, taking it out as the input okay so let's sort of practice you can have as many as uh, scene dot get statements within your uh, three and two okay so x is uh, bigger than y here okay so x is Three and y is two, so we only use the sole purpose here. We have achieved uh, this kind of logic uh, with the help of our uh, uh, with the help of our uh, uh, if else construct here. Okay, so you have entered some value into x, which is uh, three, and uh, you have entered some value into y, which is two. As soon as uh, this compares, uh, this logic is getting compared here, uh, and as we compare the logic, since x is greater than y. 3 is greater than 2 so automatically this block of code executes so automatically uh, this block of block of code executes and this just displays that message here okay so in same way if you run the program once again uh, run the program once again uh, so now if you enter uh, uh, something let's say 2 and uh, 3 so okay so now y is bigger than x here okay so in the same way uh, so as soon as uh, you enter uh, the value of, uh, the values for x and y so automatically the first if condition is getting checked here so here it says that uh, so here here it says that the y is 
so x is not greater than y because since we have entered the value of x is 2 and y is 3 so since x is not greater than x is not uh, 2 is not greater than 3 this condition uh, gets false and automatically the control uh, uh, falls back to the this condition here okay so that's the reason we are getting this message uh, so y is uh, bigger than x here okay so in the same way uh, let's do it uh, one last example uh, so let's say that uh, let's take another two variables here okay so let me take uh, like int foo uh, comma bar or let's take int foo okay so let's take let me add some uh, keep a message here so slash and slash t so enter some value so for foo so is equal to okay so let's say scene uh, foo okay so if uh, so again i'm taking the help of if else concept here so if foo is less than uh, zero okay so if foo is less than zero okay so if foo is uh, less than zero so you can have a message here so see how slash and slash t foo is negative so okay so okay so if it's not the case you can put it in simply an else condition you can say something like this so it's foo is positive okay so foo is negative integer or uh, you can have a message saying that it's an integer so whatever you are intended to since we have taken it in the data type int here okay so in the same way you can have a uh, co negative integer <laughs> we haven't uh, put the semicolon at the end here okay so co uh, slash slash t uh, foo is so positive so positive integer okay so again put the semicolon if you run the program so enter some values for x and y okay so 3 is so x is greater than y so that's the message again it's asking for some value to enter for foo let me say x minus 1 so automatically getting uh, disappeared uh, since we are taking it uh, let's put a scene dot get method here also okay so here I'm running the program, uh, it's asking for some values, so 4 and 3, since 4 is bigger than 3, so x is bigger than y, so we are getting that uh, message, and now let me add, enter some value into foo, let me say uh, minus 1, so as soon as you enter uh, minus 1, since it gets compared with this uh, if condition here, so since uh, minus 1 is less than 0, the condition is executed, the condition is set to true, so this block of code, uh, which consists of a message of, uh, since foo is a negative integer, uh, that's get displayed here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to uh, uh, work with the uh, if else uh, logic okay so with the, with the help of this if else logic uh, you can uh, uh, make some decisions uh, uh, in, within your program such that it will be helpful uh, uh, while writing uh, uh, the logic here okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye